you took a ride with. That man is Jerry Tyson, also known as 3XK. And I'm sure that no one here is more familiar with him than Castle. Uh, a dubious distinction. 3XK, the triple killer, so named because he kills his victims in groups of three. Blondes, like his latest victim, Susan Watts. The original 3XK killings were unsolved and stopped soon after they started. But then four years ago, another victim showed up. The triple killer is back. The man that we're looking for is Marcus Gates. Now, we couldn't prove that Marcus Gates was 3XK. But his cellmate, Jerry Tyson, agreed to help us put Gates away in exchange for early release. That turned out to be not such a good deal. It's not Marcus Gates. It was him all along. He's the real triple killer. By the time we realized that Jerry Tyson was 3XK, it was too late. We got close again when Tyson used the gun he stole from Detective Ryan in a homicide. And he dropped out of sight. But not for long. Richard Castle. You're under arrest for the murder of Tessa Horton. You did this. You killed Tessa. You killed Tessa. You will not last the night. He's not dead. You shot him. He's dead. It's over. For now. I wish I could say my doubts were unfounded. Why would someone kill clones of Esposito and Laney? Kelly Neiman is playing a much deeper game. Where are the three XK files? I didn't check out any files. It's not just Tyson's files that are gone. Lab work, DNA, tissue samples of every three XK victim were checked out by Laney. Only not the real Laney. And now, at the time, we weren't certain that Tyson was behind it all. We didn't even know if he was alive, but we do now. But we might have gotten lucky. It looks like Susan Watts escaped from Tyson, forcing him to kill her in the alley and leave her body there, which means he got careless. He made mistakes. Let's press our advantage and find this woman before she becomes his next victim.